Hey, what's up guys? My name is Rob Jr. This is my channel, Creative Rob. Thanks for tuning in. Today I'm going to share with you another um, airbrush tutorial. And this one's a little different than the last. We've got some different techniques and we're using some different brushes. This one's a little bit uh, a little bit harder than the, the first. So um, we're going to start off with a, a canvas size. Uh, I think you get an option as screen size, so that's what I chose. And we're going to start with the brush, the airbrush, the bigger one. And we're going to make a half circle or more of like a horseshoe and add a Gaussian blur to that. And then on another layer, we're going to do the exact same thing, uh, but give a little bit less of a blur. And this just gives it a nice airbrush look. and just squeeze those layers together and create a new layer. All right. So on this new layer, we're going to use the soft airbrush, the smaller one, and we're going to make a smaller brush size, but not too small. That's about a good size right there. And if you make a line and then at the end, before you let go, hold it still, you can create a very straight line. And now what I'm doing here is I chose the smudge tool. And we're just going to kind of smudge those ends out a little bit. And let's create a new layer. Actually, I wanted to add a Gaussian blur to that line we just created. Now go back to your new layer. Now I suggest if you're following along to do these steps and pause the video so you have time and don't get behind. So on this new layer, um, make your brush size just a tad bit smaller and what we're going to do is create some horizontal lines. Not horizontal, um, lines, angular lines um, that just what these are, these represent the waves. And they all need to kind of point to that one corner and fan out. This will give the illusion of waves and them getting closer. And again, we're going to use the smudge brush and smudge these ends out. And if you guys follow along and create Feel free to tag me on Instagram, um, your artwork. I'd love to check it out. Uh, my Instagram handle is creative underscore Rob. There should be a link on my YouTube channel. And uh, let's add the Gaussian blur and blur those out. And here I, I chose the selection tool and I'm just tweaking this I uh, use the warp tool to kind of give it a little more wave like feel and I want that blue to be on top of everything that's why I mo moved the layer up I accidentally um, used a little bit of the white airbrush on this layer uh, so what I'm doing here is erasing it. So you can still see it in that thumbnail. There. Looks like I got rid of it now. And again, if you're follow, following along, I would suggest um, listen to a step and then pause the video and create it and continue. So here on a new layer, um, we're choosing the selection tool and actually the one by the selection. I'm not sure what this tool is called, to be honest. But anyway, we're, we're using the uh, ellipse tool and then we're inverting that. And now we're getting the airbrush and using a nice orange color and since we inverted it it's only coloring the outside of the circle 
and now we're going to add a Gaussian blur to that to, to fan that color out. So here I chose a nice pink color. Uh, I wanted to lower the opacity and make the brush size a little bit bigger. And we're adding color to the sky. And now I'm going to get some yellow. And don't worry too much about how messy it is because we're going to blur this out big time. And see how the colors just blend into each other. Again, that was on a different layer than the sun. Um, so that's the that was the sky. And again, I have a little bit of um, that white showing up. That's what I was erasing there. Here I was um, attempting to make the sun bigger. Uh, I wasn't able to do that because of the way I, I created it. It the airbrush is the only thing that can be selected. That's more of a kind of curious move there. I just wanted to see. So in a new layer we're going to create some clouds and I chose a nice purple here. speed things up I enlarge the brush and I'm not you know I'm just trying to create a rough outline of a cloud because I'm gonna go in with the smudge brush and try to give it a little more shape now you can spent a lot more time than I did on these clouds and really make it look cool. Don't be afraid to, to experiment. We can always, you know, this is digital so we can easily tap with our two fingers on the screen and undo what we just did. Or if you're, you know, and it's on its own layer so, you know, you can just delete this layer if you don't like it and retry it. So there's some rough outlines and now I'm grabbing the, the smudge tool and I'm going to go in and kind of shape the tops of these clouds, give them a little more fluffiness. So really what I'm doing with these designs is this is these are the same techniques you would use with airbrushing a t-shirt. They're the same design concepts. And it's kind of fun to recreate with Procreate. And I'm using the airbrush tools and, and the blurs and smudges and um, seeing how seeing how far you can push these designs. And um, so these are really created for uh, the beginner or a beginner and the the, guy, the person who's just learning to use Procreate but is artistic. I mean it's really for everybody um, but they're not too hard so that's why I like to say they're for beginners. 
I think anyone can follow follow along and create something pretty interesting. So now I'm choosing a darker color, um, still in the same layer, a darker purple to create a, the base of the clouds. And then I'm going in with a smudge brush and smudging that in. If you're, if you guys um, are experiencing your hand kind of messing up your brush strokes because your palm is sticking to the the screen, you can get one of these gloves like I have. I have a link in the description. I think it's only like eight dollars. You can get it on Amazon, and um, it helps me out a lot. You know, I, I used to my hand would stick to the screen when I'm trying to make a smooth brush stroke and kind of mess me up. So here what I'm doing is I'm using the warp tool and and going in and um, adding some movement to the clouds. You gotta be careful here because you can overdo it. Add a little bit of Gaussian blur. And here I'm just adding um, some highlights to the clouds and I'm just kind of tracing the tops of them. And adding a Gaussian blur to that. and lower the opacity. Okay, so here we created a new layer and what we're doing is going to separate the clouds from the water. And I, I chose a selection tool and I chose uniform so I can move this line to the exact location and I'm sizing it to fit in that circle and now I'm going to add the Gaussian blur and blur that out a little bit. All right, let's create a new layer. Grab the selection tool, the free hand, and we're gonna create sand dunes. And this, make sure you do it just like I did, go outside of the paper, because we're gonna fill that with white, and that's going to represent our sand, and it's cutting into our image. And, and this is how this is different than the last airbrush. The last time we used, we just used some black lines and, and drew these sand dunes. But this, we're using the white of the paper to create these sand dunes. And when we add our, our trees and shadows, you'll be able to see it a lot better. All right, so here I selected the, the, the sand that we just created and inverted it so I could airbrush along the line of it. And 
and again going to add some Gaussian blur to that. Now you have the impression of um, ground or sand. All right, um, create a new layer and we're going to grab the ink brush, the studio pen. And this is another way this one is different than the, the last airbrush. I found the studio pen was a little easier to draw the palm trees. So you press hard and as you go up, you go softer and then create five leaves or five stems, leaf stems. And again, press hard and go soft and and then just create these lines like so. This fills in the leaf and gives it the palm tree shape. I like to do just a few on the outside. Add some coconuts. All right, let's create some grass. I'm going to try that again. I, I didn't like the way that was looking. Now go to the other side. Here I'm just trying to even out the bottom of the, the grass. And giving the, I was attempting to give the trunk of the palm tree a little bit of texture. So I went back to the layer we created with the sand and put an alpha lock on that and what that will do is only let you paint what's inside of that shape. And here I, I'm using a purple and I'm trying to find the right size brush to create some shadows of the sand dune and now I'm adding some Gaussian blur. I decided just to create a new layer and 
do the same thing. I'm adding the Gaussian blur and lowering the opacity. You could do it either way, it doesn't matter. You can alpha lock it or this do it on another layer. In here I'm using the selection tool and the distort to move these shadows around and adjust them. And here is the warp tool. See, now you can now you're starting to see the sand dunes, you know, adding the uh, in the shadow. Uh, you're starting to see more of the shape of these sand dunes. In, um, these designs will make um, stickers or magnets. I kind of plan on doing that. All right, so now um, on another layer, I'm going to create some shadows of the grass and trees. And you want to go at an angle kind of um, each side of the sand dune should kind of uh, the shadow should go away from each other kind of creating a, a V shape and here I'm using this smudge tool to to um, show the lines of the grass give the shadow some shape and adding the Gaussian blur to that and lowering the opacity. And here I'm just lowering, adjusting the brightness. I wanted it to make it a little bit darker. And now I'm just um, pinching the layers together. And I just undid it. I guess I wasn't quite ready to do that. I forgot. Uh, I want to add some color to the water. So I created a new layer and moved it um, close to the lines of the waves. And I think I moved them under those lines. That's what I was doing there. And now I'm adding some Gaussian blur to this. Boy, that green just really pops the painting. Now I'm pinching the layers together. <laughs> And you don't have to do that. It's something I, I like to do. It looks like a great place to watch the sunset, drink some coffee. So in a different layer, we're going to create the um, glare on the water from the sun. And then use some Gaussian blur on that. And there you go. Look at that reflection. And here I'm using a smudge tool to fill in some of those clouds. and reshape a little bit.
So I'm just kind of looking at this, thinking what can I add to make this better. And I'm going through the brushes because I, I decided I wanted to see how I could add some sand texture. And also I found this luminance brush, which is makes some really cool uh, sun reflections. Um, just make sure you use a smaller brush size and don't overdo it. You can overdo it with this. But uh, I thought it was pretty cool. Lower the opacity. It's so powerful, you gotta figure out how to control it a little bit more. Lower the opacity some more, adjusting it. Here I, I believe I'm trying to find a sand texture. And I think what I went with was elements. Let's see, in snowflakes. Elements. Oh, it's driven snow. And create a new layer. We're going to make the brush size smaller and and then start adding some of that in there. Look at that. Some white Florida sand. Now I'm going to add a little bit of brown in this. And you, you don't want to overdo this. A lot of times less is better, so. But I'm liking that. All right, guys, there we go. Um, all that's left is to, to size it up. You can do that with the um, selection tool and give it your signature. I created my own custom brush for my signature. Uh, if you guys followed along, feel free to tag me on Instagram. Or if you have any questions, leave them in the comments, and I'll get back to you. Um, I would love to see your artwork. So. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you did, give me a thumbs up and subscribe. That'd be awesome. I hope you guys had fun with this. And if you didn't follow along and just watch, hope you enjoyed it. Um, and I guess that's it. Thanks so much and have a wonderful day. Thank you.